Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. Today is all about Westman Atelier. It is a get ready with me video featuring one of their brand new Vital Press skincare powders, okay? Really excited. I'm gonna try it in two different points of my routine and we're gonna whip the rest of this face together. So if you wanna see how everything came together and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Before we jump in, of course, I have to talk about my Brizzy Tea product of the day. I am rocking our new Mustard Yellow Twist Headband. Stretchy number, so there's some room there. Incredibly comfortable. It's primarily made of uh, viscose, which is wood pulp. So it's really, really soft. There's some cotton in there. We've got some, a little bit of spandex in there for that stretch, okay? They come in lots of colors. And we even have a couple of prints. And then you decide where you want this twist. I happen to really like it in the middle of my head. It gives my, my face a, 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 an interesting shape. So I like it in the middle of my head, but sometimes I like it on the side too. So you just move your twist to where you want it and, and you're good to go. So if you want to check out any of our twist headbands, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay, so you saw me put on my Westman Atelier foundation. The reason I wanted to do, do that part on camera was really because of the, the Gucci trick for underneath the eyes, which is really, really awesome. I happen to use the lit up stick in Nectar, which has, you know, peachy pinkness to it. I wanted to brighten under the eyes, but she was saying how it just, um, it, it brightens the eyes, but it also like helps with dark circles. It just helps bring the, the eyes alive. And I think it's such a cool trick. Now, obviously using the lit up sticks, is, I've always done that awesome on the high points of your face. So you get this glow beneath the, um, beneath the foundation. So I've always loved using the lit up sticks that way. But underneath the eyes, I, I'm enjoying doing that as of late as well, just to see how it just helps out the eye area. So I think it's a really cool trick and I wanted to do that on camera in case you didn't uh, know that that's another way that you can use your lit up sticks, especially for us maturing ladies. All the tricks, the better. So that's where I am in the routine. I did put on my Westman Atelier new uh, brow pencil. Okay, so today's video is all about this butte here. Okay, the new Vital Press skincare powder, I have Dune, which looks like it's going to be the perfect shade for me. Recent release from Westman Atelier, I watched the, uh, what did it, what did it look like? A oh, Zoom call on the launch and heard all about it. And I knew they were working on a powder for some time, so I'm just excited it's here. Now, this powder, I plan on using it in two different points of my routine. We're about to put it on. I wanna see what happens when we build on top of it and when we sort of leave it to the end. Okay, so there are five shades of this new Vital Press um, skincare powder a lot to say but each word means something so that she really wanted to just let you know what you can expect there's a transparent uh, translucent shade there's a pink shade that i'm going to get i'm absolutely going to get the pink shade but i'm going to wait for the refills if you don't know this is westman atelier's first uh refillable product Super excited. I know refillable products have been, they've been working on that for quite a long time. And so I'm glad that 
they're finally here. So I didn't want to get the pink in the case because I want to see how the refills work. And I'm excited to try the pink one and I'll bring it to you when the pink, the refills are out. They're not currently out. So we have the pink one. We have a cream one uh, that is for sheer light to medium complexion. This is Dune. Okay, and Dune is a sheer uh, powder for tan complexions. And then there is Cafe Sheer Deep Complexions, okay? So those are the five that they have. Okay, so here's a swatch of Dune on me, okay? I'm going to just rub it in and see what happens. Swatched, it looked a little, you know, dark, but as you can see, in two seconds, it shears out on my hand. So that's what I'm expecting on my face. And let's try it. Let's try it on this side of the face, how we see, let's see how it works. So it's good because the skin is nice and glowy here. So let's see, I'm actually gonna use my Tatcha powder brush. Um, I don't have their powder brush, I need to get it. I do need to get their powder brush. For now, keeping it in the clean family. And we're gonna, so you see, immediately can see how it, Metaphors, but it's also blurring. <laughs> but what you can also see is that glow underneath with the lipstick is still there. So it's not getting rid of like everything. Oh, it is, it's blurring. Y'all, mid forties, blur me. Blur me, because I don't use, in pictures I don't do that. I don't use uh, filters or anything like that. But if the makeup I use can help assist out, I am all for it. Okay, let's get the rest of this half together. Ooh, it's giving a nice little, I, I'm really, really, the first thing I'm, I'm loving is how it's, it's blurring. And it feels, it's super, it, it's air, it's air-like. It feels like nothing's going on my face. So I can see, it doesn't take much for me to overdo it. But I could see how you could just keep going and keep going. What I'm loving, because I do not like a super matte face at all, but I'm absolutely loving how there's still, there's still a glow there. Now, let's compare it to this side. Remember, same thing going on on both underneath. This one now has the powder. This one does not. We'll see how it works at the end after I build the face up. And now we're gonna just start, this is beautiful guys. We're gonna start getting this face together. But first, let's read about what's going on. And I'm liking it's not making me, like the color's working. I thought it would make me look too dark, it doesn't. Okay, the color's working for me. So, very good, very good. Let's read what's in it, and then let's get the rest of this face together. Okay, so they're saying it's antioxidant rich, potency packed. They've micro milled active skincare ingredients into a powder that does more than just set. Ultra sheer and feathery light, I can attest to that already. Super sheer, okay, and it's, it's so incredibly light. That was what, one of my things about powder. I feel like it weighs the face down a lot, and that's why I don't like using powder as like a last step because it's like, eh, it just gives it a, sometimes a, a finish I don't like. So I can attest to it being ultra sheer and feathery light. Um, it smooths pores, thank you Jesus. Yes it did, yes it did, yes it did just smooth those pores. Even tone, come on. On this side, it just, it just it's, it's even on my face, it's blurring, it's so great things. It sweeps away shine, okay, we saw that in action. And um, it's a skin defense shield. They have a skin defense shield complex made with vitamin C, very, very nice, and probiotics that shields the skin from free radicals while protecting from blue light. Over time, the Preston Actives help to control sebum and refine the skin texture. Not mad at any of that. Not mad at any of that. That's one of the reasons I love clean beauty because the ingredients are already, I'm already expecting the ingredients to be good. But now when they inject more of those skincare ingredients into their already clean formulas, I am a happy lady, okay? So I love seeing them go this way. Really, really beautiful finish. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not trying, you know, 
Westman Atelier is my favorite brand. And so sometimes they, you know, could be, you know, a little, little biased. But the, I'm really loving this finish mostly because it didn't take away all my glow. I still really, really love how this side looks and I'm loving how refined this area looks to me. So that's where we are. Let's, let's move on with the face. One of the major reasons they've become my go-to favorite brand is because they get me in and out. And of course I love the finished product. So we're gonna zoom through this bit of the video. Otherwise we'll be here until, you know, next week. So I'm using the Face Trace Contour Stick in Truffle, okay? So in Truffle, and I did add it here already. I'm gonna put a little here, okay? And I'm gonna leave the, anybody else uh, drop things from their makeup routine? Like I'm going to use their baby blender to just blend this out to, to their routine. Like I don't contour my nose anymore. I mean, I stopped that a long time ago, but that was, I, I, I have no reason to. I was like, why am I doing this? I have no problem with my nose. I'm quite happy with the shape and size of my nose. So I stopped doing this. I really want to show you how quickly this Westman Atelier can, face can come together. If, you, if you're not aware of the brand. Where have you been if you're not aware of the brand? Okay, so this is the baby blender. Do, 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 do. We're here, we're good. We're done with contouring. We're quickly zooming through. I'm trying not to do anything off camera so you can really see how long things take. I'm gonna get something on the eyes really quickly. Bijou, okay, from Rendezvous, uh, from the Rendezvous um, iPod. I'm gonna use Bijou, which is a pink color. Trying to keep it, trying to keep it summery, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to be mindful of the time, not gonna do too dark. Now I do have a br uh, one of their bl blush. I do have one of their eyeshadow. There we go, Brie. Let's speak slowly. Um, I do have one of their eyeshadow brushes that I'll use in a second. But if I'm telling the absolute truth, the absolute truth, I use my fingers for Westman Atelier eyeshadow all the time. I don't know if I've maybe I've tried the brush a couple of times. Um, but to me, to get it in and out and to just get something on the eyes quickly, I need to use my finger. Okay, so we've got some, some, some pink there. One more color on and I'm done. Now I'm gonna use Frappe from Rendezvous with the brush, okay? I challenged myself not to use my favorite shade today because let me tell you something. I, I love it so much that that's where I go like 80% of the time. But I said, nope, you're not putting that on your eyes today. None of that. This one is a little brown. So we're going to put a little on the other corners. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a good brush. It's not my favorite brush, but it's okay. I don't, I don't hate the brush, but it's okay. A little chunky, but it does its job. Okay, so done. Let me just make sure. Blended how I want it. Little something on the eyes, just a little bit. Maybe I'll take one, one more color. You know what? I'm gonna, I think I might use Peau de Sante somewhere on my face. So I'm gonna put a little Peau de Sante, the new tinted highlighter on the uh, lid. Just a little something. Clean beauty, put them where you want them. You're all right. Okay, just a little something. When I tell you, I've been saying this for a couple of years now since, since I first started using Westman Atelier. I mean, I the 60 second eye is real with this brand. 60 seconds, I am good to go. Any color combination that I choose. We're moving on. I'm gonna do the mascara, the I love you mascara off camera and we'll get back to color in the cheeks and I'm watching the face, you know, still watching it, still watching it. Okay, I'm going to use Chouquette on my cheeks. Now, I don't know if I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm gonna add 
more color. The other thing I like doing is just showing how easily um, buildable all the products are. Um, and they are, they really, really are. I have yet to do too much with Westman Atelier. They've, they've really found a beautiful balance with their formulas that you can build and layer and layer 10 products on top of each other. And somehow it really does work. Chouquette is my favorite um, blush because of how subtle it is. Really, really subtle on me and I, and I like that a lot. So we see, okay, right? So we have, the, this is so funny to see the two different sides. As we build this one back up with the powder underneath it, and then this one is just, we're continuing the glow on glow. Okay, so I think I will stop there. Why not go for it? I'll put a little doo-doo on here, on this part. Bring it up here, just a touch. To the, like mid cheek. Yeah, mid cheek. And bring it up. Now I'm done. Now I'm officially done with the blush. Let's get to this highlighter situation. I did say Peau de Sante, maybe I will, but for now I'm going to use the Super Loaded Tinted Highlighter in Peau de Soleil, okay? I'm going to use this gold one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful shine. Let's push this back a little bit. I'm not going to do any bronzer today. And I'm using the brush really for the purposes of the video. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Beautiful shine. And that's the other thing, not shine, glow. Um, the other thing is it really doesn't disturb. The other products stay on really beautifully. Nothing is like ever disturbed. You don't really have to go back, reapply, do all that stuff. Is this gonna be okay for here? It's, the brush is a little too, too wide, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, so I've, I've See how it warms up your face? Like I love these products, these tinted highlighters. Like it, it, even though I'm not gonna wear a bronzer, I feel like, you know, you can, you can, you don't need it. There's enough going on that you don't need it. Maybe I'll put a little pot de on top. Let's pause for the cause and talk about this powder. I'm, I'm gonna ask at the end. Obviously, I want to know which side you guys prefer, but my eyes keep coming back to this side. There's, there's a really beautiful sophisticated situation not to say this isn't because i love my glowy side but there's something happening on this side where i put the powder down early and built on top of it that i'm really really loving i'm loving the finish maybe it's not the the i think it's how it blurred out and how it did really just um uh, minimize the pores and it did all that stuff so the skin looks a bit more refined which is saying a lot because what westman atelier does for my skin anyway is phenomenal so to see it now go up a step is even better i'm really digging this side of the face hmm. now where were we pole de sante let's see if we put a little just right here just right here right here extra an extra little pop pinky color some little rose gold on me But I, can you see, it's amazing that it's never like, oh my God, what are you doing? It's just too much. It's not if you blend it out. It's really not too, too much. Okay. Now, again, there would be absolutely no purpose for me to do this, but it's just to show that you can, if you want to, if you like to build stuff up, you can. I, I'm not doing all this, okay, I'm not. I choose a color and I go that way that day. 
but I'm digging. I'm digging, okay? What else do we have left to do? I feel like, I feel like I've been doing a lot, guys. Doing a lot. I don't know, I gotta think about what the next step is. Okay, so the face is looking juicy, eh? Now let's get the powder on this side, on top of everything, and see what it does for it. I'm excited to see. So light. Comes out, you know, the, the brush picks it up beautifully. I didn't put any down the nose the first time, so I'm gonna put a little down the nose. The T-zone is where I would typically perspire. Okay. I don't wanna keep doing it just because. I'm, I'm the powder's on there. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm trying to convince myself that it's gonna go down by keep adding and I'm like, why are you doing that? Let it do what, it, what it's going to do. So I'm gonna leave the powder there, okay? Here we have the side that I just, now look at how incredibly glowy this still is. And then we have the side that we um, put the base on, the powder on right after the foundation. Okay, this side versus this side. What are you guys thinking? What are we thinking? I, I think for me, there's still a refinement to putting it on uh, before I start layering. It refines the skin first and then it stays throughout. So I'm still partial to this side. I'm really partial to this side. Still get an amazing amount of glow after the fact because that's what Westman Atelier products do. But this one, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's doing, it's refining it now. So it's just, I don't know. Is there a winning side, either or? Is there one that you prefer? And then the question will be, do you prefer it with the full, more of the glow, the, the, the ultimate glowiness before I put anything? Or do you like it a little bit, you know, more refined on one side? Listen, I didn't try it underneath the eyes, but I certainly can and see if I, you know, what I think. I don't know that it's gonna, what will it, what it will do this color is not too um it's too i think it's too close to my skin tone so it's certainly not going to brighten underneath the eyes but it's there it's sort of, can it refine under the eyes? Let's see. Maybe. Okay, you can, you can let me know if you see a difference under the eyes. Yeah, there's a little something maybe going on under the eyes. I didn't take it as an under eye powder, but um, I guess I, I could. I, because I like to brighten, I would need to, I'll, I'll, I'll try the pink one more for under the eyes and see what I think. Because I like to brighten under the eyes. Um, so I wouldn't use one that's my complexion. So in the video, I loved how after she put powder on at the end, she was like, then you can add more glow. So let's, let's see what's happening. Now the powders, I'm just gonna do it on this side where we have the, uh, what am I gonna use? This is the lit up stick and brulee. So let's just see if we add back a little bit more glow. Okay, brulee. Now on top of the powder. And maybe a little bit more color to the cheeks.
Okay. So we've added a bit of highlighter after bringing it down. So there's so many options. There's just so many ways you can go with this product, these products. Um, but I, I am quite the fan. I cannot wait to, to, I still feel like I see a difference, but maybe it's in my head, not sure, but I feel like I see a difference in this side. I'm gonna turn the lip around a bit. I'm gonna go with the, uh, the lip suede in Le Bordeaux and use the deepest shade here. And then I'm gonna put a, a gloss on top. So I'm gonna go deep with the lip. But the lip gloss should brighten it up, or lighten it up. I opened this and it just spoke to me. I was like, wait a minute. Are you pro uh, lip pencil? Uh, are you pro lip brush or no lip brush? I have lip brushes. They'll never be my favorite. A bullet is just more convenient. So that's one of the things I actually hope to see from Westman Atelier one day. I hope we do get um, lipsticks in a, uh, a bullet, see what that, that does. Um, look, I just, I always love how a lipstick can change everything you've just done, everything. Let's get a lip gloss on top. I'm going to go for the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in Mapuche, okay? Let's see, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. I'll be as surprised as you guys. Well, that turned out to be a beautiful combo on the lips. I, I'm really enjoying this color. Very, very pretty. A perfect end for this video. So that's it for me, guys. Absolute, is it it's love at first use? I, I think it really is. I'm, tr I'm really, I don't like to exaggerate because I don't like when other people do it. But because I saw an immediate difference and I saw refinement and I saw smoothing and I saw what they, they promised I would see, um, and it didn't feel like it bogged my skin down. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel dry or look rather, cause it's the look of that that I can't stand when it looks dry and it looks heavy and it, it's, it's everything that they claimed it would be on me. So it refined this side of my face. And so I'm almost partial to putting it on right after foundation and then building, uh, building color and um, uh, uh, glow up after. I don't feel like this side ever achieved what this side did and that's okay. I really, really love it, but I'm also absolutely can see that this was refined after I put it on. This area of my face, looks smoother so it did its job wherever i did it but i guess it's just a preference about where you know where you like to use powder in your routine so if you got this powder you have to let me know what your thoughts are is there one side of my face you prefer uh with the finished product let me know and of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell i always love hearing from you guys Okay, I did the husband check, okay? And you know, he has limited vocabulary when it comes to you know, makeup. But he did say, I just said, you see any difference between each side of my face? And he said, this one has more, he said matte glow. And then this one is, is, is a much glowier side, not just where I put, I don't know what you're thinking, not just where I put that last highlighter. All over this looks glowier. And then this one doesn't look as glowy. So for sure, there's a difference in the two sides. But I have to tell you what the husband said because, you know, you need that objective opinion sometimes. And of course, if you want to check out any of our twist headbands, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.